Okay, uh, now uh, let me run Andrewino. Now, if you have Bluetooth turned off on your uh, Android phone, uh, you will be prompted to uh, activate it. Of course, if you run the application for the first time, it will ask for permission to access your uh, Bluetooth, okay, uh, meaning uh, the application wants to be able to turn Bluetooth on and we will say yes okay now Bluetooth is turned on but we're still not connected to the HC05 Bluetooth over serial module uh, before we can connect we have to pair pairing is done once and it basically authorizes uh, your device your Android device uh, Bluetooth to communicate with uh, the HC05 or any other Bluetooth device. Once you do the pairing and you exchange the passcodes, uh, all you have to do after that is just just directly connect. Okay, so let's click on the action menu and say connect me to a Bluetooth device. If your Bluetooth device is not discoverable, you will be asked to make it discoverable. Okay, it says no Bluetooth device has been paired, so there has been no pairing of any Bluetooth devices between my Android and the HC05 here. So, I want to scan, and here gives me an option. The HC05 is basically the Bluetooth device name, the default device name for uh, the HC05 module that I have here. If I select it, I will be prompted to enter a password uh, or the passcode. Again, this is done only once during pairing. The default passcode for the HC05, which you can change, you can also change the name, but that's a different topic. It's one, two, three, four, and okay. Now watch the light stop. It used to blink continuously. Now it just blinks twice every one second or so. Now we have a connection. between the Andrewino and the Bluetooth module, the HC05 Bluetooth module. And the double blinks every one second or so tells me that the connection or the pairing has been made successfully and now we have a connection. Okay, let me explain uh, Andrewino, uh, the user interface. It's divided into four sections based on the functionality. Uh, the top one basically is a list of uh, sliders and I can use those sliders to control the corresponding pins. Uh, note that uh, these pins are the pins with pulse width modulation capabilities meaning that these are pins that you can control with the analog write command in Arduino. Uh, the second one is a digital write keypad and here we have 12 buttons each one corresponding to a digital digital pen on the Arduino Uno I have excluded uh, pens 0 and 1 because they are used frequently for serial communication uh, maybe I should return them in a later release I don't know we'll see what the users say so uh, when, when you click a button you're actually toggling on and off, from high to low, high to low, high to low, etc. Okay, and then the third section is the send data. Here, basically, I can type anything I want. Okay, click, 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 done, and then I can send it. And then on the Android side, uh, my code will process uh, this data to take whatever action I want. And finally, here it's get data and what get data allows me to do is to basically receive data sent from Arduino to my Android and I can decide what data what this data should be I can be I can read sensors read pens uh, uh, whatever okay and with the send data I can send text data to show on LCDs uh, etc okay so now let's uh, Let's try 
and test this application. First thing I want to do, I want to control the brightness of uh, the two LEDs. Uh, the first one is connected to pin 11, so if I slide watch the LED on the left, increase in brightness and decrease in brightness. Again, maximum brightness and halfway brightness oops big thumbs and zero brightness one more time maximum brightness no brightness second one same thing Okay. I can also toggle these LEDs on and off. 11, 11, 11, 11, 10, 10, 10, 10. Okay. Let's send data. I don't have anything right now to test it with, but basically it's as simple as clicking whatever information that you want done and it sits here in the text field until you're ready to press send data like I said the Arduino receives this information and you can decide in your code on the Arduino what you want to do with this data such as displaying it uh, on an LCD screen or a controlling uh, a motor or servo or what have you here we have send data uh, receive data sorry Right now, uh, my sample code on my Arduino is wired to read analog pin 0. And since analog pin 0 is not connected to anything, it's just basically reading ambient noise. But I can connect it to sensors, LDRs, uh, what have you. And this is basically Arduino in a nutshell. I plan to add more features in the future. Uh, if there is really a need for such a tool. Uh, let me just explain uh, the test circuit uh, that I'm using uh, for the uh, Andrewino. Uh, basically, I have an Arduino Uno and I have the HC05 uh, Bluetooth over serial module, which I bought from eBay for less than uh, 10 bucks. Uh, there are two versions, one without the breakout board, uh, it's a nightmare to use, uh, and then there is this one for a couple of extra bucks, it comes with a really nice uh, breakout board, LEDs uh, to let you know when the Bluetooth has been paired, when it's not, and it comes with uh, current limiting resistors uh, uh, and uh, uh, male header pins so you can uh, fix it on a breadboard. Now, please note that uh, this HC05 module is a 3.3 volts uh, circuit, uh, even though it has a, a regulator, a 3.3 volt regulator, this is just to regulate the power to the module, but not to the pins. Uh, of interest is the uh, RX pin, the, uh, which gets its uh, uh, signals from the Arduino's TX pin, uh, the Arduino is a 5 volt uh, system, so uh, when Arduino's TX pin is wired directly to the HC05, you're actually running the risk of uh, ruining your HC05 because the HC05 uh, RX pin is expecting a 3.3 signal, while uh, the Arduino's TX pin, which is uh, pin 0, uh, pin 1, sorry, is actually sending a 5 volt signal. So there are two ways to actually uh, deal with this 5 volt to 3.3 volt conversion. You can either, either use a straightforward voltage divider, uh, which, you know, you can use different values for your resistors, uh, such as 1K and 2K, or you can use a level shifter, such as the IC I'm using here, uh, uh, 
which I also bought from eBay. You can use a number of ICs to do this job. Uh, in my other guides, I've used voltage uh, dividers, uh, resistors as voltage dividers, and it worked fine. Here I wanted to try something different, so I used this uh, level shifter IC. Okay. Um, I have two LEDs, both connected to uh, pins uh, 11 and 10. Uh, those LEDs uh, are connected to what's called pulse width modulation pins, which means I can control them with an analog write command, uh, as well as uh, controlling them with a digital write command to turn them on and off. Uh, 